Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to do this. Pretty awesome. Uh, it's a Superman Batman logo thing that was shown in Comic Con. If you went to Comic Con, which I didn't because I live in the other side of the planet. <laughs> so, yeah, no third party plugin here. Uh, I'm sorry, we have one optical players, but uh, it's, it's just, you know, the icing on the cake. So, if you don't want to use optical players, that's fine, it still looks pretty cool. I have this uh, logo, Superman logo and Batman logo. You can just download this on the description. So let's jump to the uh, project. Enough with the chip chop, let's just make a new composition, name it. Hit OK. And we drag the Batman and Superman logo. And then what we're going to do first is we're going to pre compose it. Because I like to pre compose stuff. So name it Superman. So if we go to the composition, we have uh, both of the logo inside there. So first thing first, of course, we're going to scale the Superman logo to around it. And there, and then just reposition it to fit. Maybe scale it up a bit. There we go. So yeah, it looks pretty nice. And then what we're going to do we're going to scale both of the logo here what I like to do usually I just make a null and just parent them see they are parent now I just click there and just scale using press S for scale and just scale it down like so okay now let's work with the logo first we're going to work with the Superman logo and what I did is I use a metal texture. You can just Google like metal texture or steel texture on Google. You, you will find a bunch of awesome texture for free. So yeah, let's just drag it here and just scale it up. And then let's just alpha mat. Maybe we want to look for the nice part like right here. And then you're going to layer, new, adjustment layer, and we're going to type color and boss. Color and boss, and just make it like a. Then just tap 1.5. So we have this kind of semi 3D looking thing. And then we're going to go to curve, we're going to darken this a bit. Not just a touch. No, not a touch actually. Like so. So we go back to the main composition here. And then um, we're going to layer a new solid for uh, the background. Let's name this background. And put it on the back here. So as we can see, uh, the Batman logo is not. Uh, pitch black so we're going to add fail effect to Batman and make it black like so oh we cannot see anything that's fine that's fine so we found a little problem here it got cut off let's go back to the Superman logo move the metal texture like so then go back to main here and then what we're going to do now is we're going to make a white outline on the Superman logo like what I did in here so we have a white outline thing so it's like a specular uh, outline make a new solid, layer new white solid, hit ok and we're going to disable it it's just uh, for you'll, you'll see and then we go to set channel, put it on the Superman and source layer we change it to uh, white solid white solid and white solid so all the red green and blue uh, channel will be replaced by the white and then we're going to go to invert invert and change this to alpha so we have a nice looking stuff here 
and then we're going to go to CC composite, com composite, whatever, and we change it to stencil alpha. So what CC composite uh, does is actually make this the effect above it to uh, comp composite to the image uh, using this mode. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. You'll get it. <laughs> and then we're going to go to glow and just drag it in here. Nice. And then we're going to go to CC composite again. And then we're going to change this to screen and uncheck the RGB. So we have this looking effect. Maybe we just change the CC composite to about 40. So this is before and after. Looking good. So now what we're going to do is going to make the light uh, behind the logo. So we're going to make a new solid, make a white, another white solid, name this light. Put it behind the Batman and Superman logo. And then we're going to draw a circle and then press and then click and control or command shift. Okay, then go back to here. And let's just adjust it. Then we're going to press F for the mask feather and just feather it a touch. And then we're going to go to glow. Put the glow in here. And change this to alpha and give this a light blue color. So yeah, then just We don't want the white to spill in here. And then change this to screen. Change the. And then we're going to make another. Uh, you know, we want to make a little light spill behind the Batman logo. You know, just a touch. So we're going to go to Batman and put another glow. And make this alpha. And on top. So yeah, looking good. So looks nice. Just go like this. Then we're going to make a the uh, red uh, light uh, thing. So we're going to make a layer new solid. Make it red. Yeah, red solid. Okay. Just disable it. And then we're going to create. You know, just random random uh, shape and then feather it and just maybe turn this to screen and you know just play around with the mask by the way you can just uh, double click on the mask and you can just uh, edit it like that so yeah looking good we disable this and there you no no not yet we need optical flares this is the last part the last part so we go to optical flares put it behind and go to option and then we're going to make a new uh, our own <clears throat> uh, preset. So we'll go to blend. Uh, we too much, just one. And then we're going to go to completion. Make it ninety percent, and you know just feather it up a bit and just rotate it to, uh, to duplicate this. Then. 
offset it. Wait, draw well. Offset. And then just rotate. So yeah, okay. Actually want to make it after the light. To add base back down. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Looking pretty awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to color correct the Superman logo. We want to make it more uh, contrast. Here and we make it uh, like that. So yeah, this is the I uh, uh, kind of make it a contrast in the curve editor, and then um, there's something r not right in here. So I forget to give it a Gaussian blur. So we go here Gaussian blur and put it just above the first DC composite. So yeah, we uh, just add a Gaussian blur just between the glow and DC composite to make the white lines uh, more blurry. So now we're going to go to the fun stuff, animation. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to around Maybe change this to frame. I control or command and then click the current time. Then we're going to add a keyframe on the scale and just move back to around there. Five second and scale it up like so. So we have this. And then we're copy this. Go. So this is basically what I'm going to do is I just do a simple blocking. So yeah. And then we also want to animate the light. And so we're going to go T shift scale s and just so we have this and also the optical flares we're gonna go to the brightness click go in here zero Pretty cool, and then we're going to go to the glow on the Batman and keyframe on the glow radius. Go back here, just zero. So, and the same with the red solid, press T to transparency or opacity. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the keyframe and what I did is I changed this to easy out and change this to easy ease and basically change the other two to easy ease. So yeah I changed all of the keyframe to easy ease by right click easy ease. It makes the animation smoother. And then what we're going to do, we're going to make another adjustment layer. This is the last time, I swear. And we're going to make a curve. And we're going to click a keyframe like in in here maybe. And just in here we're going to like that 
Oh, I forget to say if you press U, it will show all your keyframes. So yeah, this is the tutorial, guys. Uh, I just changed the the keyframe here to easy ease and easy out. So yeah, uh, this is uh, my tutorial. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And see you later. Bye.